can't stop okay, okay, hustling okay, okay. every minute, every second. What is up, everybody? I hope you are enjoying a great holiday today, whether you celebrate Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, or however you feel about the traditions and the history of such. I hope we're all just getting together and enjoying our company with our friends and loved ones and everything else like that. Yeah, it's over here, boy, with Bruce, Bruce, and Botches bringing to you a special day, which is not really special. It's just the same day. It's just, you know, but it's on a holiday. So, you know, I could have took the day off, but I didn't. Hey, that's an episode of Sips, yo. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about this 6.7 Rustic Ridge IPA by the Highland Brewing Company out of Asheville, North Carolina. And at 6.7%, like I said, this thing might get you in trouble, or it may not. But for me, I'm probably going to drink whatever I got left of it. Now, this was brewed last year and bottled last year, so it may have degraded a little bit. But as long as you keep mainly beers like this cold or refrigerated or kept out of sunlight, like uh, in a cold area of your house, some people even put them under their sink. I know it's weird, but trust me, it works. Uh, it should be okay. Um, but yeah, I've already poured some in a glass here, if you'll see. Check that color out. It's a little bit hazy. And let's see what the smell is on it. It smells like hops. I just don't know what hops are in this, but they said that this beer was selected or they used hops from the harvest they had that year to go into this IPA. Uh, it said, brewed at the peak of harvest season, this ever-evolving IPA highlights the best of our annual hop selection. Yo. So, let's give it a shot for yuns. So, having been bottled last year, and this was uh, bottled in October of last year, it said, it has not really degraded that much, in my uh, opinion, but... You know, the hops in there, there's a little bit of like citrus going on. Like I said, I have no idea what hops they are. And if you want to research hops, you are welcome to. There's a plethora of them that impart different kind of flavors to IPAs and beer. But this has a little bit of a citrus thing going on with it, as well as earthy tones. A lot of people might say, oh, it tastes like straw or, you know, cardboard or whatever. Sounds bad, but once it goes into the mixture of the beer and everything else, it's good. The hot bite off the front is not as bad as it is towards the end, and one, it's not really even that bad towards the end, but you can tell definitely that it's an IPA. The beer itself is light, so it's not one of those you could drink several of, and you'd be like, oh, I don't feel that good because it's made me full. Uh, this one right here, I think you could drink several of them. Uh, yeah, for over here, boy, it's going to be a four out of five caps. And yeah, you say, well, you give a four out of five caps often. Yeah, that's what I give beers that are above average, but not quite perfect. But also, they're good enough to be a regular drinker. But don't worry about it, because I'm a professional and you ain't. Yo. Anyway, we want to thank y'all for following us and all that stuff. And we hope that you have a fantastic rest of your holidays, if you're off the rest of the week or whatever. But, you know, enjoy the time with your friends and family, because we don't get together enough. You know what I'm saying? Love your people, y'all. If you also drop down in the comments of things you would like to see, we check that out. And I'll try stuff, man, as long as it's not toilet wine. And if you know what toilet wine is, then you've spent some time in con college, ain't it? Yeah. Anyway, also down in our bio, you can see a, the link to our link tree where we got everything we got going on. We're on Instagram, TikToks, um, you know, Yellow Boy, and I put stuff on X a lot. Yeah, so you can check that out. Hogs Wars is on playing games from time to time. He's been taking a little hiatus, but that guy's got a lot going on in his life, ain't it? Yeah. Anyway, we thank y'all. I'm not going to tell y'all to leave because I want y'all to come out and hang out and eat the rest of the leftovers with me. But always drink responsibly. And if you feel like you're a little too full of it, call a friend, a loved one, an Uber, or somebody to help you get to your place safely, ain't it, y'all? Again, I'm not going to tell you to leave, but I am going to cheers you. And we will see you whenever we see you, which will probably be Monday for the next Monday. Monday. We love y'all. Appreciate you. Y'all. Yeah.